is Mandy Conway and I'm an environmental restoration science major. Um, I'm originally from Lincoln, I'm a junior right now, so it's actually the summer but I'm already getting excited for next year because all my classes are on East Campus now, which means that they're all important for my major. All right, I'm Steve Comfort, I'm a soil and water chemist in the School of Natural Resources and I also coordinate the environmental restoration science degree at UNL. Over the last few years, we've had a number of undergrads uh, work both in the laboratory and in the field, uh, assisting graduate students with their research projects. Last year, we hired Mandy, and she recently went with us to our site in Cozad, Nebraska. This is an abandoned landfill, and there's TCE in the groundwater, and we're going to attempt to treat that TCE with some slow release oxidant that we're manufacturing in the lab. Basically the classes are attempting to teach the students what happens to chemicals once they're released into the environment, how are they absorbed, degraded, transported, what's the chance of these compounds getting into ground or surface water. And then the second thing is once soil or water accumulate enough of a chemical, that is they become contaminated, how do we treat them? How do we remediate contaminated soil and water? Basically, we work on, you know, when things go wrong in the environment, getting them put back right, usually in a chemical sense, more so than in a physical or cover-up. It's different than other majors in, that it's act majors in that it's actually proactive about environmental contamination. The goal of the major is to train environmental scientists, people who can uh, work for environmental remediation firms or local, state, and federal government agencies dealing with a variety of pollution issues. One of the advantages of the COZAD project is that in the classroom we learn about in situ chemical oxidation, but by having Mandy work with us, she actually gets to see how it's implemented. 